Oh, my mascara is burning. <laughs> So for those of you who don't recognize me, um, I'm Bryce Starkins. I want to start off by saying, now this group of people, these young people are here, are way worth, way more than anybody that you will meet outside of these doors. They do too much and work too hard. All right, now that that's over. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been attending the First Baptist Church pretty much my entire life. Um, I've been heavily involved in the handbell choir and the youth choir. Um, I think this year I missed one. Almost got perfect attendance. Um, and music has always been influential in my life. Uh, in the words of Hans Christian Andersen, where words fail, music speaks. I find that quote particularly true in regards to emotions. When you're stuck in front of your church congregation, you can't express what you're trying to say because you're crying. <laughs> so, Lucy told us how we were blessed. God blessed us with incredible circumstances and gifts. I know that I have had a blessed life, and that God has given me plenty of promising opportunities to succeed in life and overcome the temptations that come before me. But the reality of the situation is that I struggle with sin every day. I'm just good at hiding it from people like you. I'm so broken, and I don't know what I want to do in life. I worry about the struggles I'm going to face next year. I just can't seem to figure out what God has in store for me. These are the times I turn to God for help. When I have all of these questions running through my mind, I ask God for help and guidance. Not that this is a bad thing, but is that it? Is that all I need God for? To show me what to do before I take over and start running the show? Lots of times I feel myself most separated and alone from God when my life seems to be running smoothly. School is going great, work is great. I am physically active and healthy. Everything just seems to be clicking. And when it is, I give myself a huge pat on the back saying, congratulations, Bryce. You have things under control. You are doing great things in your life right now. And I attribute all of the success to how awesome I am. <laughs> I forget who really is in control. I forget about the man behind the curtain who is really pulling all of the strings. And the only time I remember that he is there is when I need something. When the perfect calm waters are broken and I can no longer see the reflection of my perfect life. When I get pulled for speeding and need mercy. When I realize in just a few short months I won't be with my best friend, my dad. And needs comfort. When the air is so thick and cloudy around me, I can't see where I'm going. When the grandmother passes away. That is when I turn to God. I often treat God as a safety net and only use him when I fall. I know he is there to catch me. But no one notices the safety net until the acrobat slips. But it is always there. That is how I often find myself with God. I am the one doing the flips and balancing on the tightrope, and He is just there in case I slip and mess up. Psalm 130, verses 1 and 2 say, Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. We all need search and cry out to God when we are at our lowest points. Ben Rector writes one of my favorite songs called When a Heart Breaks, which relates to this almost perfectly. The lyrics go something like this. This isn't easy, this isn't clear, and
and you don't need Jesus to your ear. The confusion and the doubts you have, up and walk away. They walk away. When a heart breaks, all of us are broken. We all know what it feels like to be alone and feel helpless. I know I do. I'm feeling it right now. But that is because we are trying to do it ourselves. I'm trying to run my own life. I'm trying to take control of every situation. After all, I just turned 18. I'm an adult now. And I need to be more involved and active in things around me. I need to help handle situations and fix problems that are in front of me. There's nothing wrong with being assertive and motivated. But I do believe that lots of times we just need to let go of the reins. We are not in control, and as soon as we accept that, God can take us where we need to go. Psalm 130 goes on later to say, But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. Let's well, have relinquish our, my sad attempt at control over my own life. God can answer my prayers. He can solve my problems and take me on the path that He has set for me. My favorite lyrics in the song that I was talking about earlier are this. I don't need answers. I just need some peace. I just need someone who can help me get to sleep. Who can help me get to sleep. If we can't accept our brokenness and our need for God and Jesus' grace and mercy on a daily basis, then we will never be able to find the peace that God intended for us to have, and we won't be able to get some sleep. Pray with me. All powerful, eternal God, thank you for keeping our broken lives together with your everlasting love. Help us to recognize what is in our control and what is not. Guide us on the right path to your Son, Jesus Christ, and heal us with the touch of your mercy. Thank you for taking us, giving us a purpose and reason for life. Thank you for blessing us, giving us talents and gifts that can help us lead others to you. And thank you for your grace and light in this dark world. We ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus.